Imagine a world where we don't have to take finasteride, microneedle of skull baby week, or even use the magical IU584 one. Well, that world is one step closer with the research from University of California. They have finally found the gene that is actually responsible for triggering heart growth. And their research is definitely going to change how we fight hair loss in the future. Scoop tree, a term that might seem a bit obscure to some, but in the world of hair loss research, it is a significant discovery that is getting more and more attention of both scientists and patients alike. Scoop tree is an acronym for signal peptide cup domain EGF like tree and has emerged as a promising agent in the fight against androgenic alopecia or just the good old male pattern baldness as we know it as. But what is this scoop tree exactly? Stick around and I will explain it to you. At the University of California, groundbreaking research has shed light on this remarkable discovery. Scoop tree is deeply connected to the dermal papilla cells, which are specialized fibroblasts located at the base of each hair follicle. These cells are instrumental in regulating the hair growth cycle. However, the intricacies of how these cells are activated to promote hair growth has remained largely unexplored until Scoop Tree came into the picture. The researchers at UCI focused on understanding the molecular mechanisms that govern hair growth. Their findings, which are detailed in the Developmental Cells Journal, have opened new doors in hair regeneration research. Their discovery was the identification of Scoop Tree as a crucial signaling molecule and Scoop Tree's role in hair growth is definitely fascinating. It acts as a messenger signaling hair stem cells to commence diversion, leading to new and more hair growth. This revelation was especially significant for individuals with androgenic alopecia. In such cases, the dermal papilla cells is malfunctioning, leading to a decrease in the scoop tree production. The lack of scoop tree results in reduced stimulation of hair stem cells, thereby, of course, contributing to hair loss. The efficacy of scoop tree was further demonstrated through the innovative mouse models. When Scoop Tree was introduced into these models, there was a visible rejuvenation of dormant hair follicles, both in the human and the mouse skin. So these findings is crucial as it shows the potential of Scoop Tree beyond just theoretical research. And the studies on Scoop Tree also delves into the origin of this protein and its pathways. Scoop Tree arises from the activation of the hedgehog signaling pathway within dermal papilla fibroblast. This pathway plays a huge role in the stem cell niche of hair follicles. Active hair follicles in mice prominently features Scoop Tree in their dermal papilla while dormant follicles do not. So this stark contrast just furthermore highlights the importance of scoop tree in the active growth phase of hair follicles. The role of the TGF beta signaling pathway in conjunction with scoop tree is also a key focus of these studies. It is this little guy we have here over on the drawing. And by the way, if you feel like you've seen this name before, it's because the TGF beta is a key role player in the mechanism of minoxidil. So that might be why some of you guys out there just kind of feel like you know this one. Anyway, the pathway activation is observed to increase in hair follicles enriched with scoop tree. When this pathway is pharmacologically disrupted in genetically modified mice, the rapid hair growth is halted. Further, once again, emphasizing the reliance of hair follicles activation on the scoop tree through the 
TGF pathways, as we talked about before. The implications of these findings are immense. For decades, the treatment options for androgenic alopecia has been severely limited and not even universally effective. So the discovery of scoop tree's role in hair follicle activation presents a new promising approach for treatment development. And on top of that, recent advancement in scoop tree research are not just confined to the academic laboratories. There's a big interest in translating these findings into practical treatments. And with the University of California at the forefront, there is ongoing collaboration with biotech firms like Amplifica, I think they're called, aiming to develop patentable scoop tree related compounds for hair growth stimulation. In my opinion, one of the most exciting aspects of scoop tree therapy is the potential to surpass the limitations of what we currently know as the FDA approved treatments for antigenic alopecia. And I'm talking about minoxidil and finasteride so far. Current treatments as finasteride and minoxidil have their drawbacks. They require, first of all, daily application. They aren't really universally effective, which leaves a significant gap in treatment options, where scoop tree with its unique mechanism of action could potentially fill this gap that we see. While all the other treatments focus on what is causing hair loss, scoop tree operates directly at the cellular level, stimulating hair stem cells to promote hair growth. So instead of fighting the hormones that is causing the hair loss, it is actually targeting the cellular and the molecular pathways directly responsible for hair growth instead. Looking ahead, the world to clinical application of Scoop3 is paved with both excitement and caution. Clinical trials is crucial as a next step in this journey. And these trials will not only test the efficacy of scoop tree based treatments, but also of course the safety. As with any new medical treatment, understanding the potential side effects and long term implication is of course paramount for this. But at the current stage, we are looking at a few years before we can expect this wonder drug to be available to us mere mortals. And this is why it is crucial to keep your current hair so you don't have to look like this guy while you wait. That is why you should go and check out this video about IU5841, the drug that can prevent and even reverse hair loss so that you are still looking handsome as 